What doses are you prescribing for EDSers who have neuropathic pain? Are you recommending lesser doses for those who don't have neuropathic pain and EDS? Best time to take, have you found tabs, capsules, or liquid best? Any significant interaction with other meds? So that's that I, I'm assuming she's talking about low dose naltrexone. I'm going to answer this as if I normally start people at 1.5 milligrams and titrate up from there. Um, once in a while, if someone is really sensitive to medications, I will start at 0.5 milligrams. Usually I start at 1.5 and then I usually have them take one capsule or tablet. I start within the morning and then a week later, shift that to the evening. And then a week after that, shift to two tablets or capsules in the evening and then to three. And then I usually hold at the 4.5 milligrams for a while. That's usually how I dose that. Um, and like I said, I, I ask people to give me um, at least, a, or give themselves, I should say, at least a six month trial. No, I do not recommend usually a, a lower dose for those that uh, don't have neuropathic pain. If I'm going to prescribe it, that's usually how I prescribe it. And I think I just covered best time to take. Um, I recommend that people try to take it as close to 9 p.m. as possible. Yes, I have prescribed tablets. I've prescribed capsules. I've prescribed liquid, all of the above. I like the tablets when we can get those because then you don't have to worry about the capsule having an interaction in the body, having its own excipient. I use liquid probably most commonly if I have somebody who is really, really nervous about trying it and, and wants more control because then like if it's um, sometimes it's drops, very, very concentrated drops. So then they can dose it very, very slowly. And then they're usually, it's such a low dose. There's usually not interaction with other medications.